with Makima reassuring that Denji does indeed have a heart, Denji assures himself that Makima will be the only girl he will ever be romantically interested in, until suddenly it begins to rain. As Denji runs for cover, he encounters a beautiful woman. Hello? She tells Denji to visit her in the cafe that she works in sometime. Both of them sit together, drink coffee, all the while this beautiful woman playfully teases and touches Denji. The girl introduces herself as Reze. The next day, Denji returns to the cafe. Reze is shocked to learn that Denji doesn't know how to read and invites him to attend night school with her. Reze pretends to teach Denji simple nonsensical facts, but comments on his lack of education as to whether his life as a devil hunter is truly good for him. Once Denji gives his answer, Reze reminds him that three square meals a day are the bare minimum acceptable living conditions for anybody. Denji, feeling uneasy from this conversation, is offered to cool off outside and to swim with Reze. Reze teaches Denji how to swim, and before you know it, it starts raining yet again. They run back indoors. Reze leaves Denji alone for a minute so that she can use the restroom. Moments later, Reze is encountered by a strange man. However, Reze swiftly dodges all of his attacks. She chokes out the man, and while his life is slowly fading away, she begins to speak Russian. Reze soon after realizes the rain was coming from none other than the Typhoon Devil. Typhoon apologizes to her, and Reze promises to overlook the incident in return if he does what she says. The next day, Reze and Denji goes to a festival, and after an eventful day together, Reze asks Denji to quit devil hunting and to run away with her, promising that she'll make him happy. Denji, feeling conflicted, admits to Reze that while the offer is tempting, he enjoys what he does as a devil hunter. The fireworks goes off. Reze approaches Denji and kisses him. Denji falls backwards and it's revealed that Reze bites off his tongue. Denji tries to move and pull his cord until Reze swiftly slices off his hand and apologizes before stealing his heart, but not before Beam, the shark fiend burst from the floor to save Denji. Beam, embarrassed by not recognizing the scent from Reze earlier, reminded him of that of a bomb. Reze pulls a pin out of her choker. Her head and arm explodes, revealing to be the Bomb Devil Hybrid. Bean tries his best to escape from Reze's explosive attacks, but it doesn't work. After transforming into the Shark Bean, it's time to get serious. Never mind. A couple of Devil Hunters nearby notices what's happening and tries to interject. They quickly perish from Reze's attack but it's enough of a distraction for Beam to escape with Denji. Beam encounters Aki at a nearby Division 2 training facility, informing him of what just happened. Reze arrives to the training facility, facing off against numerous Devil Hunters, completely blows up the entire building. Aki tries his best to shake her off, and with the assist of the Violence Fiend, they luckily escape, momentarily. Aggressively blasting her way towards Aki and the gang, Denji breaks out of the car and angrily shouts, Why are people so interested in Chainsaw Man's heart, but not Denji's heart? Reze confesses that she did have feelings for Denji, but Denji rejects her. As Reze effortlessly dodged Denji's attacks, she launches Denji up in the air to only transform her leg into a missile launching both of them back into the ground. Reze picks up Denji's severed torso and blasts it, rendering it into a smoldering mass. Aki appears from the destruction of the battle, slicing off Reze's arm. Thankfully, with Aki's future sight, he's able to look into the future a few seconds ahead. But even with that advantage, he's having a difficult time against Reze. After launching an explosive attack, the Violence Fiend saves Aki. Now that it's a two-on-one handicap battle... Never mind. Now a monstrously massive Typhoon Devil crashes through a nearby building entering the fight. Angel Devil absorbs the life energy of the dying victims through the rubble and gives their blood to Denji, restoring him the full strength. Shark Fiend, suggesting to Denji that he would move more quickly if he used his chainsaw chains to move from building to building. Excited about the potential of his chains, he tells Beam to transform into a shark. Denji rides Beam like a horse, charges towards Typhoon Devil and Bomb Devil. Sharknado, baby! Chainsaw Man uses his chains to make quick work of the Typhoon Devil killing him. Bomb Girl then attacks the pair from above, blasting them both onto the ground. Shark Fiend takes most of the damage, leaving Denji to square off against Reze one-on-one -on, -one on a rooftop. 
Reze blasts Denji's arms off, telling him to just give up and that there's nowhere left for him to hide. Denji points out that the ocean is stationed behind them, reminding her that she had taught him how to swim. She flicks another blast at his other arm, and as the smoke clears, it's revealed that Denji managed to keep the arm attached to his torso by placing a chain between his shoulder and forearm. Flinging the chains at Reze, tying her entire body up with his, unable to explode while wet, Reze sinks to the bottom of the ocean with Denji. Reze, Denji, and Bean washes up ashore. Reze asks Denji why did he save her life. Denji said he would rather let her go. Despite everything that has happened between both characters, Denji offers Reze to run away with him forever and that he genuinely had feelings for her. Reze moves close to him before swiftly snapping his neck, walks away but not before Denji telling her that he'll be waiting at the cafe. Instead of escaping, Reze actually decides to go to the cafe to meet Denji. Makima interjects and with the help of the angel devil, kills her. Reze really did have feelings for Denji after all. Alone at the cafe, the owner speaks to him promising that another girl will eventually come who would be perfect for him. Feeling low and disheartened, Power makes her way back into the story, demanding that Denji should give his flowers to her. If you love this series, comment down below on your favorite moment in the Bomb Girl arc. I'd love to read them. My name is DJ Miles, and as I always say, take care.